I think Painkillers on Netflix. Um, has anyone seen that show? Yeah. Really good show. And it's about like how people got addicted to opioids in like the 90s or whatever. And I saw that show and Eminem put out uh, his album called Recovery. It's two, 2010. I was a big Eminem fan. And when that album came out, I fucking hated it. Hated it. Publicly was like, this shit is whack. Didn't like it. And after watching that show, dude, I felt so bad. Because the album about, I, I felt so bad about those tweets and things like that. Because thinking from his perspective, someone like me publicly saying that stuff and him getting off drugs and being clean and getting to a point in his life that that's behind him and me implying, like, you need to, no, this shit is what, blah, blah, blah. he probably felt like I was attacking him. I thought I was just like, I don't like the music. He was in a different part of his life and probably felt like I was attacking him. And now I feel so bad about saying that stuff because my perspective was so limited. And I love him. That dude taught me how to rap. I learned how to put words together uh, in, in rhythm because of some of the Eminem stuff I was hearing and storytelling and things like that. So after watching that show, that gave me perspective. And I felt terrible. This is a few months ago. I felt so terrible about some of the things I said about um, that recovery album because I realized that was a big step and meant a lot to him. And my fucking young stupid ass was like, oh, I want to hear the same song and dance. And I love the Eminem show, but like, he's not there anymore. I felt terrible. I, and if I ever see him, like, I want to tell him that like in person. And when you